So please share all your photos and experiences on social media using the hashtag Humber Combo. Uh, but first, Raf, why don't you tell everyone what we've got planned for tonight? Well, Dan, we've got an exciting show lined up for you today. Firstly, we've got the talented music and vocal students who will be gracing us with several performances throughout the show. We've also got some video packages to show you what life is like at Humber College. And that's not all. Our reporter, Hurain Mansakani, is on his way right now to meet President Chris Whitaker. We'll speak to him along with Senior Dean Derek Stockley a little bit later in the show. Hurain will also be on the floor uh, catching up with graduates as well as some pretty proud parents who are going to share a little bit about what makes tonight so special. Uh, but Raf, what about the uh, students graduating tonight? Well, Dan, today marks Humber's 51st graduating class. The first one being in May 1968 to a class of 19. Since then, Humber's grown significantly, and this year, we'll see about 10,000 graduating students joining an alumni network of over 250,000. Over the next four days, we're going to see about 10 ceremonies, and today alone, we'll see about 3,000 grads walk across that stage. Now, tonight's students are graduates from the schools of uh, social and community services, as well as creative and performing arts, and include students from the degree, diploma, and advanced diploma programs, as well as the Ontario Graduate Certificate and Certificate of Achievement programs. We'll all see several prominent students graduate today, including Sung Woo Han from the Bachelor of Music program, and who will be receiving the Board of Governors Award, along with Lauren Mortier from the Television Writing and Producing program, who will be awarded with the President's Medal. You know, some of the notable uh, alumni from both of these programs include Senator Gwen Boniface, uh, stand-up comedian Deborah DiGiovanni, and Giacomo Giannietti, who plays Dr. Andrew DeLuca on Grey's Anatomy. Wow, that really is fascinating, Dan. It really a testament to show the breadth of Humber alum. Anyways, we're going to take a short break to show our, pre to show our performance for the mo uh, vocal and music students. But when we get back, Haran will be speaking uh, to President Chris Whitaker and Senior Dean Derek Stockley. And if you like what you see, please share it on social media using the hashtag Humber, Com Humber Combo. Uh, that's us for now. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are Humber Music, and we're here to entertain each one of y'all this evening. We're going to start it off with a classic Algero tune. We're in this love together. I hope y'all enjoy it. It's like a diamond ring. It's a precious thing. And we never want to lose it It's like a favorite song that you love to sing Every time you hear the music Don't you know that we're in this love together We got the kind that lasts forever together it's like berries on the vine it gets sweeter all the time oh, 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 oh. Ooh, it's like a ring in nuts and candlelight and ooh it's so we got the whole thing working out so right. Out so right. And it's just the way we planned it. And don't you know that we're in this love together? We got the kind that lasts forever. We got the kind. We got the kind. Don't you know that we're in this love together? It's like berries on the vine It gets sweeter all the time oh, hey. We got the kind that lasts forever. We got the kind, Ooh, baby. Ooh, what a, what a day, and don't yeah. you know that we're in this love together? It's like berries on the vine. 
a circle in a spiral Like a wheel within a wheel Never ending or beginning On an ever spinning wheel Like a snowball down a mountain Or a carnival balloon Like a carousel that's burning Running rings around the moon Like a clock whose hands are sweeping Past the minutes of its face is like an apple whirling silently in space like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind like a tunnel that you follow to a tunnel of its own down a hollow to a cavern where the sun has never shone like a door that keeps revolving in a half forgotten dream or the ripples from a pebble someone tosses in a stream like a clock whose hands are sweeping past the minutes of its face and the world is like an apple whirling silently in space like the circles that you find in the windmill of your mind Keys that jangle in your pocket Words that jangle in your head Why did summer go so quickly? Was it something that I said? Lovers walk along a shore And leave the footprints in the sand It's the sound of distant drumming Just the fingers of your hand like a circle in a spiral And the fragment of a song Half remembered distant traces But to whom do they belong? When you knew that it was over Were you suddenly aware That the autumn leaves were turning To the color of her hair Like a circle in a spiral Like a wheel within a wheel Ending or beginning on an ever spinning wheel as the images unwind, like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind. That jangle in your pocket, words that jangle in your head. Why did summer go so quickly? Was it something that I said? Lovers walk along the shore and leave the footprints in the sand. It's the sound of distant drumming, just the fingers of your head. Pictures hanging in the hallway on the fragment of a song. Remember names and faces But to whom do they belong When you knew that it was over Were you suddenly aware That the autumn leaves were turning To the color of her hair Like a circle in a spiral Like a wheel within a wheel Never ending or beginning On an ever spinning wheel the images are wide, like the circles that you find in the windmills of your mind. By
music and vocal students. Our reporter, Hurain Mansakani, is live right now in the VIP room with President Chris Whitaker and Senior Dean Derek Stockley. Hurain, what's happening? Thanks, Dan and Raphael. As, as you can see, people are here coming excited about today, oh, joined by their Whitaker. family and friends. And they're clicking pictures, commemorating yeah. this beautiful day. And as you can see behind me, people are just collecting their gowns, getting ready to walk across the stage. And I have with me Humber President Dr. Chris Bittaker, who's also going to address the crowd in a few moments. But right now I have with me, have him with me. And uh, Dr. Chris Bittaker, thank you for joining us. Um, tell us why you've often described Convocation to be the high point of the year. Yeah, Convocation truly is the high point of year for myself and many other people at Humber because what it represents is a culmination of all the hard work and the learning that the students have put into their studies and a real celebration of success because we know uh, it takes a lot of work to get to graduation. Students are here because they, they want to learn, they have goals and aspirations and expectations and it's our job as faculty and staff at the college to make sure they're successful. So it's a great day of celebration to celebrate their achievements but it's an amazing day for us because we like to consider ourselves a big part of that journey that's helped them get to today from Humber's perspective. As Raphael mentioned uh, in the studio that in 1968 there were just 10 uh, students who were graduating and now we have around uh, 250,000 graduates uh, who have already graduated. Right. How far has Humber come from 1968, 52 years, 51 years? Yeah, Humber's had, uh, it's, it's an amazing success story from humble beginnings like many of the colleges, 24 publicly funded uh, colleges in the province, humble beginnings, uh, but we have come a long way from uh, one small building grown into uh, large campuses where we have over 33,000 full-time students as the largest uh, college in Canada right now. And I think it, it's no coincidence. The reason that we have been successful is because we have incredible faculty, staff, and now, as you referenced, we have all, about a quarter million alumni graduates who are out there uh, making their mark on the world and are highly successful. So Humber's reputation is out there. Uh, we are a destination of choice for students. Uh, we are uh, the place to go to that employers go to for qualified and, and skilled graduates to fill uh, their employment needs. So it has been an incredible success story, but it is all about uh, the people that contribute to making this successful. Humber is a great institution, a great culture. We're all focused on student success, and we have the good fortune to be celebrating that today. So the time has come for the graduates and they're one step closer to their dreams. Now, what advice do you have as they move on to the next stage of their lives? You know, there's, there's lots of advice and uh, I don't want to give any uh, spoilers on my remarks that I'm going to give the uh, students later. But I think if I could say one thing is that, you know, you are ready. I, uh, you've spent a lot of time and inv put in, you invested yourself into your learning, but the graduates are ready, and they should have confidence that they are ready. Nobody really knows if they're going to be successful and they haven't started something new, but we do our best to prepare the students. The students wouldn't be here graduating unless our faculty uh, uh, believe that they are ready to take the next step. So I say to the students, reflect on your experience, your learning uh, that you've had here, uh, look inside yourself and, and have the confidence and the courage to know that you're ready to go on and be successful uh, whatever life throws at you. Thank you so much Dr. Whitaker uh, for your kind words and uh, sharing your wisdom. Um, thank you so much for your time. My pleasure. Have a great evening. You okay. too. Thank you. And I am now joined by Senior Dean Derek Stockley. Uh, hi. hi, thanks for joining us. Could, uh, so, creative arts, and how does Humber go about preparing students in, in creative art forms and fostering creativity? Yeah, uh, well, we, we'd probably want to connect with the Dean of Creative Arts uh, for that one, but I know at the pr as the principal of the Lakeshore campus, uh, what you do is you create amazing spaces for that creative arts to come about, whether it's the studios we have up in Birmingham, uh, the Black Box Theater, uh, the, the, uh, the incredible live jazz program uh, the, uh, uh, down, in the, uh, down on the uh, other side of the campus. Uh, all those beautiful spaces, I think, are, are just incubators for that creativity to happen. So along with the creative arts graduates, we also have uh, uh, graduates from the School of Social and Community Services. What are the unique qualities? What's something so special about the graduates uh, from the School of Co Social and Community Service? 
Yeah, great question. I think what, what's uh, the difference between those students is, is uh, how connected they are to the community. So whether it's the firefighters that we have graduating tonight that's working directly with the communities, or the child and youth care workers, the developmental service workers, uh, the folks that are, are working in addictions and mental health, they're all, while all programs are very different, very unique, the thing they all have in common is that, that they give back to the community. They work with the community and, uh, and, the, and they literally are changing people's lives. If there's a few things that the students or the graduates that, that, that they need to know as they pursue their career, uh, what, is, what is that? What advice do you have for those people? Yeah, great, great question here. And I think, you know, if they can apply what they did at Humber uh, to their life outside of Humber, they're going to do great. If they can figure out how to balance, uh, how to find the passion for what they want to do and balance it with fun. If they can uh, apply the drive that, that allowed them to graduate here tonight uh, to the positions they have, but also, uh, you know, remember uh, the light side of life. Uh, that's, that's the balance they're going to need in these professions that are very demanding, but also very rewarding. Derek, thank you so much for your time and hope you enjoy the, week, uh, the evening. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Uh, as you can see, the mood is chirpy. People are pumped. And uh, get, I'll get back more to you and uh, throw back to you, Dan and Raphael. Thanks so much, Rain, and it's so great to hear from uh, President Chris Whitaker and Associate, uh, Senior Dean Derek Stockley. Now your little sneak peek of what's to come this evening. Here's a little video highlight package from last year's Spring Convocation. Thinking time for thinking ahead. The 
world has changed so very much from what it used to be. There is so much hatred, war, and poverty. Oh, yeah. Wake up all the teachers, time to teach a new way. Maybe then they'll listen to what you have to say. Because they're the ones who's coming up. The world is in their hands. When you teach the children, teach the very best you can. Just let it be oh, oh. The world won't get no better We gotta change again yeah. Just you and me Wake up all the doctors Make the old people well They're the ones who suffer And catch all the hell catch all they don't have much very long before the judgment day so won't you make them happy before they all pass away oh. wake up all the builders time to build a new land build a new land i know oh. we can do it if we all lend the hand the only thing we have to do is pull Just you and me When 
beijos Aqui ma vejas to my shell It's only me who wants to wrap around the dreams And have you any dreams you like to sell Dreams of loneliness like a heartbeat drives you mad in the still you had and what you lost and what you had and what you lost oh thunder only happens when it's raining This next song that we're about to sing is actually an original of mine. It's called It's For Everyone, and I hope you enjoy it. We were walking on the edge of time. I'm glad you're mine. I hope you stay this time. Free words running in my ear tonight What will I find A treasure in this mind Oh, by the war I can see it's hurting Build a wall in the morning I feel it falling Well, I know that I know Believe in something and I know that the road that is love is coming Are we going wrong in the world today? When your head's on the water, can you hear what the wind might say? Uh, through a living love, by the word we are standing up When you walk in your true way, you will carry on an inner love Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. it's for everyone. Felt you running nearly every time into my life. I found my paradise. Turning in circles, we will arise My fragile mind I left the life behind And oh, by the war, I can see it's hurting Build a wall in the morning, I feel it falling in love well, I know that I know I believe in something And I know down the road that His love is coming Are we going wrong in the world today? When your hands are the water Can you hear what the wind might say? Through a living love By the word we are standing up When you walk in the true way You will carry
Humber College 2019 Spring Convocation Pre-Show. That was another awesome performance from our vocal and musical students led by program coordinator Lisa Martinelli. I'm Dan Hollingberry. And I'm Rafael Indiarta. We're going to take it back a lot, take it back with our jam-packed pre-show. We're taking it back to our roving reporter, Haren, who's standing by with some graduating students. Haren, what's going on in the marshalling room? Thanks, Dan and Rafael. I'm outside of the marshalling area where about 1,000 students are getting lined up just to walk across the stage in a few minutes. And I'm joined by uh, four excited graduates, and I'm going to start with uh, Jordan. So, Jordan, please tell me about your program and your experience at Humber. Sure. Uh, so, my program is the Theatre Performance Program. It's three years long, and it focuses extensively on physical devised creation of original theater works. Uh, in that, you focus on voice, movement, and acting, and then combining all three to put on a show at the end of the year. Um, honestly, it's been one of the most roller, one of the biggest roller coaster rides I've ever been on in my life. You have your highest of highs and your lowest of lows, and by the end of the program, I, I've come out a completely different person, ready to take on my field. So you just mentioned there's there was a roller coaster of a roller roller coaster ride. So if you could just unwind and go back in time and tell us more about your the most memorable moment that you had uh, in in at your time at Humber, what was that be? Um, so it's a tie between two. There was one I was rehearsing for uh, my own solo piece that we have to show, and as I was rehearsing, I tore my knee, and at the time I had no clue that I had torn it. And so I just kept going to my classes. I was like, I'm fine, I'm fine. And at the end of it, when I finally figured out, I can't walk, maybe I should go get this checked. In order to get me out, they didn't have a, a wheelchair at easy access. So they grabbed one of the wheelie chairs from one of the other classrooms and just rode me down the hall with the uh, program coordinator and the head of movement. And they're freaking out. And then you just see me behind with my arms in the air going, Woo! Just party, it was, it was a great time. And then the second time would be one of the exercises that we did. It was called the come here exercise, where you stood across from someone and tried to get them to come across the room to you by just saying the words, come here. If they didn't believe you, they'd take a step back. If they believe you, take a step forward. And it just, it got to the point where it caused a break in me that really made me discover what it meant to be an actor. That was great. And uh, Shayna, could you tell uh, you the same program? So, could you tell me about your experience and what does it mean to graduate from Humber? Oh, it, it means so much to actually be on the other side. Um, the program definitely encouraged me to discover a lot of new things about myself because I always like to think about each year as a different milestone. That the first one's kind of to discover what you're working with and who who you really are and then to actually be able to break that down is in second year. <laughs> um, break it down in order to become those other things that you need to be or those other parts of yourself that you would do in third year. And so third year is kind of finding your boundaries and first year is figuring out your tools I guess is the best way to say it and just being able to know that I've gone through and found my tools and found all the different things I can do with them and actually being able to challenge them to the fullest ex extent and then now being on the other side practicing those things and actually using those tools and boundaries that I've learned. Well, congratulations for today and uh, we will move on to uh, another set of students who are from Child and Youth Care. Right. 
And uh, we have Connor uh, who out here. So, Connor, tell me about your experience at Humber. Man, you know, my experience was absolutely phenomenal. I went into child and youth care not really knowing what it was, and then I finished being a new man, got hired on in my first internship, or my second internship, sorry, and now I'm still at that same program. I'm a community coach at a special needs adult day program. It is the absolute most fun I've ever had in my life. So how has it shaped you as a person? Well, it just changed me, you know. It, I think it's made me more honest. It made me way more understanding than I already was. Uh, and, you know, just all about being groovy and rocking and rolling, man. It's all about being your true self in this field, you know. And I am my true self through and through, you know. And it's, you know, you just got to boogie. You got to rock and roll, man. And that's what I do every day of my life, you know. Well, that's great. And congratulations. And uh, we have uh, Maddie. And how, Maddie, could you tell us about your experience at Humber and how is, has it shaped you as a person? Uh, my experience at Humber was absolutely incredible. Uh, it gave me so much experience and I too got a job with Connor is before I graduated, uh, working with two children that are on the autism spectrum. And it's it developed my skills so much and it's helped me become more understanding and I just really love my experience here. Well, uh, congratulations to all of you and thanks for joining us. Uh, uh, I, I, I throw it back to Dan and Raphael for more. Thanks, Haran. It's always exciting to hear from the students right before they cross that stage. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what uh, some of those students have to offer on the other side, like they said. Uh, we'll be back in the studio in a few minutes. Uh, and, but uh, first, let's just talk a little bit. Uh, you know, we've talked about family and how important family's been in supporting these graduates. Uh, we've talked about how important friends are. Uh, but really, the teachers and faculty at Humber are also really important in making sure that the students get to where they are today. Um, I know a lot of uh, I know a lot of teachers put in the extra mile here at Humber, make themselves available on weekends and after hours. Uh, I know in our program there's a lot of faculty that's uh, available to edit scripts and look over work uh, long after the day's done. Uh, so I don't think uh, you know we'd really be here without uh, a lot of the hardworking staff uh, that's at Humber. Honestly, I agree. I I can, the faculty at Humber has been fantastic for me personally, and I can see them here on the halls celebrating and congratulating um, the graduates along with their parents, because with, really without the faculty and the dedication they put in to make sure their students succeed, it really is, they really can't be able to, they won't be able to walk across the hall, Dan, and it's, and it's really because of them that we had such successful students and over 250,000 alum. Absolutely. Now, don't forget that you can share all of your photos and experiences on social media using the hashtag HumberConvo. Uh, I know that it's already trending on Twitter, uh, so get everything up there. We want to see exactly how you guys are celebrating, uh, what you're doing now, and uh, you know how you're celebrating tonight. We want to see the pictures uh, with your families, pictures with your siblings, maybe if you brought your dog. Um, yeah, we want to see your excited, happy faces as you walk across the stage, receive your diploma or degree, and just overall, just share your humble experience or joy for finishing these long, grueling years of studying and working and successfully making it to the other side. And it's so great to hear everyone have such positive stories about Humber. You know, I don't really think there's another school like this. Sometimes you hear students, you know, when they get to graduation, it's, it's the last that, you know, they're finally there. They can finally be gone. They can finally be done with it. But a lot of the grads that we've talked to today have had a great time here and I think really might be a little bit sad to finally say goodbye to Humber when they go on to, uh, to bigger and better things. I agree, uh, Dan, and it's really, they really look like they want to learn more. They're, they're forever students, and I'm sure I've heard Chris say that maybe once or twice before in these other ceremonies. And he's really been preaching that to, be, to always be learning. And these students are not just going to stop learning as they leave Humber, but when they go on the career. Now, uh, we're going to be back in the studio in a few minutes. Uh, but right now, we've got a video from some of our international and diverse students. Uh, here's what they had to say to today's grads. Gratulatia, <laughs> Felicitations, diplômé. 
सफल होयानो बहुत बहुत मुबारक हम बड़े शॉप ग्रेजुएट्स के अमी अनेक अभिनंदन जानाई अभिनंदन विद्यार्थियों मूलत साउथ चुएन कुछ दम थोड़े ब्लिप्स सलामत ग्रेजुएट तुम उनका बात तो ये पहले हम बोल मुबारक विद्यार्थियों Convocation, and I really believe this, and you often hear it at convocation ceremonies, but people start off, and I often do myself, saying it's the best day of the year at the college. On the day of the graduates' uh, ceremony, they will arrive at the Toronto Congress Centre, where they will be gowned in the regalia that fits their program that they're graduating from. They'll be marshaled into the venue. At the time in which their name is called, they will cross the stage, shake their hand with our president and board of governors. At the event conclusion, uh, they will have the opportunity to get uh, together with their guests and family. The real highlight and the significance for me is standing on the stage because I get the privilege of, of, of shaking hands and, uh, when they cross the stage to receive their diploma. And there's, and there's nothing better than, than looking over and watching the next person walk across the stage uh, because you get every mix of emotions. Some are terrified, some are really savoring the moment. It is a celebration for sure of our students, but it's a celebration of everyone's contribution towards student success as well. Jere vidate ne sikhyan puri kali hai. Ona nu bahut bahut vadaiyan. Hongera wana phones wali madiza. Felicidades graduados. Congratulations graduates. Imagine there's no countries Isn't a hard to do Nothing to kill
wonder if you can No need for greed or hunger A brotherhood of man Imagine all the people sharing all the world You may say I'm a dreamer But I'm not the only one I hope someday you will join us And the world will be as well Imagine all the people This one's called Spanish Joint. It's by D'Angelo. Hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, Lord. Hey. Whenever it rains, I feel this way. Something to get me through this day. Oh, give me a little of that. No time flat. Gonna be a good thing. Serena, but me, I'm feeling free. Uh, I'm getting up in the landing on my feet. Oh, brush the dirt up my back. No time flat. Gonna be a good thing. Well, people say it's true Whatever will be, will forever do Whatever the cost, I'll pay it full I don't want nothing to do with you Gotta get out, gotta get out of here I'm in the dark and the lights are so sincere Oh, brush the dirt on my back No time flat, gonna be a good thing hey. All you do is complain about your pain In the cloud the funnels never sees the rain Hey, don't look back, handle that Make it do a good thing So decide of me hey. So control is in control of me I'm Licking your chain, it just won't do I don't want nothing to do with you Something is stirring inside of me. I'm so controlled, so controlled, it's so in control of me. I'm looking your chain, it just won't do. I don't want nothing to do with you. What people believe, say it's true. Whatever will be, will forever do. Whatever the cost, don't pay. 
do with you I don't want nothing to do with you I don't want nothing to do with you Welcome back to Humber College 2019 Spring Convocation Pre-Show and let's have another hand for Lisa Martinelli and her talented music and vocal students Gabriella Rogers, Tariq Henry, Jeremy Huckel, Jared Craig and Ben Green. Now we're only a few moments away from our 7 p.m. show and the excitement in the hall is really starting to build behind me. We're going to go to our live reporter Haran Mansakani one last time. Thanks, Dan and Raphael. I'm outside of the main stage where students are getting lined up to walk across the stage. And I have a proud family members, two parents and one cousin. But we'll move on to the proud parents. Uh, um, can you tell us your name and, uh, and your name of your children? I'm Kim Stevens, and this is my husband, Bob. I'm Bob Stevens, and her son's name is James. Sure. And how has the experience been uh, to see uh, your your son James walk across the stage. Absolutely awesome. He worked very very hard and he's deserving of this. And um, you've driven from Ottawa all the way. So how was the experience like? It was a wonderful experience. Humber's done a fabulous job. And uh, you were talking about your 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 son wanting to do uh, wanting to take up childcare from the very early on. Could you tell us more about? how this all affected him and why he wanted to take up childcare. James has always been a very giving, very sensitive son, the only son of four girls and one boy, and um, something he's always wanted to do. Okay, how was he as, as a kid? He was a sensitive boy, very, very giving. He'd be wonderful in this profession. Yeah. And, and, and uh, you've also been a nurse, and, uh, and how, what kind of a role did you play in, in his life and influencing him to take up uh, childcare? Oh, I don't think I'm a good example. I'm a tough it out <laughs> kind of person. <laughs> so, uh, Bob, you have also worked into uh, behavior psychology. Uh, what, what kind of influence did you have on, on, on your kid? Well, we both always want our children to follow their hearts, to do what they wanted to do. And I know that James always, when he was playing with other kids, would look after them, uh, look after kids younger than himself, make sure they were included uh, and stuff. So um, it came as no surprise that he wanted to work with kids. And we just worked on encouraging that and creating the environment for him to feel free to do that. So uh, what kind of struggles did he face throughout his his tenure, his stint at Humber? I think pretty much what all students face, learning how to budget your time, to budget your money, uh, dealing with the stress of school. And uh, Humber has done a really good job of helping him through that uh, and uh, just allowing us to support him and give him an outlet when he needs one. Um, and uh, we've been able to help support him basically with moral courage and, and uh, just helping him with the strength to get through. All right, thank you. And uh, moving on to the cousin, can you tell us, uh, can you tell us your name and uh, the, your cousin getting uh, graduated? Uh, my name is Emmeline and my cousin that's getting graduated is Shanique Gooden-Dixon and she's in the child and youth department. So how is it to see your cousin uh, walk across the stage and commemorate uh, her education and graduation? It is an honor. It's a pleasure. It's awesome. It's great. It's exciting. We were just talking and you said that you also want to uh, take up a course, a college course. So looking at so many students walking across the stage and getting lined up, how has this affected you emotionally? Has this, has this inspired you uh, or something like that? Yeah, it does give me the inspiration to do it, to get it done, to shoot for my goals and to head for my stars. So what kind of support uh, have, you had, have you given or to your cousin? Um, just to like encourage her to like do what she feels like, like go with her heart, because this is something that she always wanted to do, like to graduate from high, from high school and college and to just follow her dreams, work with children all her life. So it's a really 
good experience. Right. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, sharing your uh, experiences and your feelings out here. Uh, I'll throw it back to Dan and Raphael. Thank you. Thank you, Hurain. Uh, thanks, Hurain. Now, if you uh, take a look behind me, you can actually see all the graduates lining up, uh, getting ready to go into the hall. Uh, and the one thing that we've heard from a lot of graduates and a lot of parents today is how much Humber has been able to channel everyone's passions into actual careers. Um, we heard it from uh, those parents there, uh, that it was their son's passion always to, uh, to be a social worker, and it was something that he was able to channel and uh, hone his skills on at Humber. Yes, and even from the students before, and speaking to students prior, they've all, they said that Humber has helped them fulfill their dreams and work towards their career goals. And even for us personally, Dan, I know that's why we've chosen Humber as our, as our school of choice for pursuing our dreams and goals as well. Absolutely. There's a uh, you know, real hands-on learning experience here at Humber uh, with internships and placements. Everyone gets to go out into the field and uh, work in the careers that they want to be working in. Uh, and it's great. And I think uh, especially for a lot of the graduates here today, these kind of programs help prepare them for the jobs that they're going to be doing later in life. And these are really important jobs, you know, social workers, you know, working with kids and working with people from troubled backgrounds and firefighters and police officers. And, you know, even, uh, even from the creative arts teams, uh, you know, everyone is working uh, for the community and, uh, and, and, and together. Yes, Jen, these are important jobs that people are doing. And we're seeing the first steps to fulfilling their career goals and serving the community in the best way possible. But it's not just the faculty in the school has done it, it's also the parents and the family that we've sought, that we've spoken to earlier, and they've said that they're tremendously proud, tremendously supportive of their students, and they're so proud to watch their, to watch their child walk across that stage and receive their diploma or degree. I know that my parents were just as proud as me, and I'm sure the same was for you, Dan. Well, uh, that's it for our convocation pre-show. And we're going to show you one more video about life at Humber College. But stay tuned afterwards because we've got our main event coming up, the convocation ceremony itself. I'm Rafael Indiarta. And I'm, uh, and I'm Dan Hollingberry. And on behalf of our reporter, Haran Manzakani, and the entire broadcast television production crew, we want to say thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. We are here for our convocation, class of 2018. We are so happy. I love Humber. <laughs> I definitely want to thank all my professors. Uh, they all did an awesome job. Chef Kumar, Chef Sergio, and uh, Chef Ku, and Chef Gonzalez um, for all their ongoing support and coaching. I would like to thank all the professors because they really helped me and guided me through. Um, I even feel proud that because of me I graduated and my parents got to come to Canada from India and they came with me to celebrate this day. I am so proud of my students. This is like the culmination of so much hard work and it's such a joyful time to see them so happy and and it for teachers it's uh, it's a really proud moment for us they know what to expect and they know what to teach us and what will be really helpful in the industry so they were really helpful to guide us in the right direction the people the teachers I loved everything about it a lot of hard work put into this program and now I'm at the end and ready to start my, uh, my career and future. I chose Humber because, well, my parents chose Humber as well. I did the landscape program. And I was in the fashion marketing and business program in 1988. <laughs> I do want to thank my parents for being so supportive and my family. They were always there when I needed it and they kept on pushing me forward. You can do it. not expecting that my parents will be here but it's a great opportunity for me I'm feeling blessed today so now I'm done with my internship so now I'm full-time working there I'm thinking to come back in Humber College again and to complete my bachelor's degree also it's incredible um, the fact that I've gotten here through like our program is really really heavy um, so the fact that I got here I have so much family support it means a lot to be here and we're very proud of her yes now we are Humber we are Humber. <laughs> we are Humber <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Vince Fecto.
Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the 2019 Convocation Ceremony. The music you've been listening to this evening has been performed by third and fourth year students from our internationally acclaimed Humber Music programs. This year, we are profiling students from our Bachelor of Music degree program who have been immersed in performance, composition, songwriting, and production in a variety of musical genres, including jazz, pop, contemporary, R&B, Latin, and world music. Showcasing their amazing talents this evening are five up-and-coming artists, Gabriella Rogers and Tariq Henry on vocals, Jeremy Hootzel on keys, bassist Jarrett Craig, and Ben Green on drums. <clears throat> Graduation is an occasion that is very important to the graduates and their families. We ask that you respect the occasion and remain in your seats for the duration of the ceremony and refrain from talking. We ask you to please turn off all cell phones and personal electronic devices. Fire regulations state that we must keep the back aisle of Convocation Hall clear, so we ask that you not stand in that area. In the event of an emergency, please note your nearest exits and follow the staff. And now please rise as you are able to welcome our 2019 graduates and platform party.
going home today I believe I'm missing every face Get there and play my music Leave on every love light in the place This time I found myself Totally surrounded in the circles Of my friends Please celebrate me I can sing this song. An easy highway, traveling where the westerly winds may fly. Somebody tried to tell me it, yeah, but the man forgot to tell me why. I gotta count on being gone. Come on, woman. Please be seated. Welcome everyone to the 2019 Convocation Ceremony for the graduates from the School of Social and Community Services and the School of Creative and Performing Arts. In fact, this is the second of two ceremonies held for the School of Social and Community Services. The first was held earlier today. Uh, my name is Andrew Scott, the Acting Dean for the School of Creative and Performing Arts, and it is my pleasure to serve as your Master of Ceremonies today. 
We would like to begin the ceremony today by acknowledging that Humber College is located within the traditional and treaty lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit. Known as the Adobe Gok, the place of the Black Alders in the Mississauga language, the region is uniquely situated along the Humber River watershed, which historically provided an integral connection for the Anishinaabe, the Haudenosaunee, and the Wendat peoples between the Ontario Lakeshore and the Lake Simcoe Georgian Bay regions. Now home to people of numerous nations, Adobe Gok continues to provide a vital source of interconnection for all. Today we acknowledge and honor the land we are walking on, the moccasin tracks of our ancestors, and the footprints of the future generations to come. I would like to begin our ceremony by introducing our platform party. Please hold your applause until all of the platform party members have been introduced. Anne Corbold, member, faculty union. Freddie Mejia, president, support staff union. Debbie Moffat, program advisory member, School of Social and Community Services. Janet Stewart, admissions advisor, office of the registrar. Ryan Stafford, Vice President, Lakeshore, Ignite. Adelia Marchese, Director, Advancement and Alumni. Justin Anthonis, Program Advisory Member, School of Creative and Performing Arts. Nora Simpson, Associate Dean, School of Social and Community Services. Joe Andrews, Director, Orangeville Campus. Dr. Darren Lawless, Dean, Applied Research and Innovation. Sarah Jane Greenway, Acting Associate Dean, School of Creative and Performing Arts. Neil Price, Associate Dean, School of Social and Community Services. Dr. Joanna Amaro, Associate Dean, School of Social and Community Services. Ronalda Poratic, Reader, the School of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Barbara Reich, Associate Vice President, Enrollment Management and Registrar. Derek Stockley, Dean, School of Social and Community Services. Scott Briggs, Chief Information Officer. Dr. Chris Whitaker, President and CEO of Humber College Institute of Technology and Advanced Learning. Thomas Barlow, Member, Board of Governors. Lori Didick, Vice President, Human Resources and Organizational Effectiveness. Guillermo Acosta, Dean, School of Media Studies and Information Technology. Vera Bellitson, Dean, School of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Everyone, your platform party. At this time, I would like to invite Mr. Tom Barlow to bring greetings from our Board of Governors. Good evening. Graduates, honorees, parents, family members, friends, faculty, staff, and honored guests, it is my pleasure to bring greetings from Humber's Board of Governors. First and foremost, congratulations to all of our graduates for achieving the success that we are celebrating here today. You have worked hard to complete your programs and we on the board are proud of your accomplishments. Well done. <laughs> Second, the board wishes you success in your future endeavors. You can move forward in your chosen field with the confidence of having been educated at one of Canada's preeminent colleges. The knowledge and skills you have developed at Humber will provide an excellent foundation for future success. I would be remiss if I did not also recognize and thank all of those present at this ceremony that have supported our graduates in their studies at Humber. The Board of Governors understands the important and critical role played by parents, family, friends, and other key supporters in each student's life. Congratulations to our graduates and best wishes for the future. Thank you, Mr. Barlow. And now I would like to invite President Chris Whitaker to say a few words to the graduating class of 2019.
Well, thank you much. Thank you very much, Andy, for that uh, introduction. And also, I want to thank you for your leadership as the acting dean of the School of Creative and Performing Arts. Thank you. Well, good evening, everyone. We have a good crowd here tonight. And I know we're just getting started, so we want to bring some uh, energy into the ceremony. And uh, maybe we can uh, get this place hopping like it's a Raptors victory party or something. What, what do you think? Yeah. That's more like it, yeah. So let's get started. Members of the platform party, honored guests, faculty and staff, family, friends, and especially our graduates who are looking very fine this evening, I may add, it's my pleasure to welcome you to tonight's convocation. This year we'll be recognizing more than 10,000 graduates across 10 ceremonies, a significant number and certainly a reason to celebrate. Thank you all for being here with us to mark the occasion. Thank you as well to all of the Humber employees who helped make this event happen. A day like this takes many people to produce, from when our graduates arrive and receive their gowns to when they cross the stage in a few minutes, you, our staff and faculty, work tirelessly to make this day memorable for our graduates and their families, and we are grateful for your efforts. Yeah, let's give them some applause. Yeah. That's it. We're going to be doing a lot of clapping tonight, so get those hands ready. I've been part of many convocation ceremonies as a professor, as a president, and most importantly, as a parent. I share the many emotions that we're all feeling today. The pride of achievement, the joy of success, and yes, the relief that this significant day has finally come. Convocation is my favorite time of the academic year because it's a time for our community to celebrate our students' achievements and to look ahead to the new beginnings and abundant possibilities that await our graduates. Before we recognize their accomplishments, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank those who helped our grads along the way. To Humber's faculty and staff, thank you for your dedication and commitment. Our students wouldn't be here without your support, wisdom, and encouragement. Let's give our faculty and staff a round of applause, please. Thank you also to friends, families, and loved ones for supporting our graduates through, through those inevitable ups and downs of college life. Your support comes in many ways. Financial, emotional, financial, <laughs> lending a helping hand, and oh, by the way, did I say financial? I think you deserve a round of applause as well. And now to our graduates. You did it. You've earned the spotlight you're receiving tonight. The spotlight is on you, not just because of what you have achieved, but because you are the leaders of tomorrow. According to an article published last year in the Harvard Business Review, great leaders are confident, connected, committed, and courageous. All of these attributes are within each of you. You have spent the last weeks, months, and years honing your skills and knowledge in classrooms and in workplaces. Your experiences have helped grow your confidence. You are connected. You have networked with fellow students, faculty, and industry representatives throughout your program. You are also now part of the growing community of Humber alumni around the world who are making their mark and making a difference. You are committed. You made the decision to change your life through education and have put in the work to get to this day. You are courageous. As students, each of you came to Humber from somewhere else, from high school or another post-secondary institution, from a job, from another city, or even another country. It took courage to reach this point, and it will take more in the future as you are faced with new situations and environments. Some consider courage to be an innate character trait, something you're born with. Others consider courage to be a skill, something that you can develop and strengthen over time. I believe it is a choice. Here at Humber, we chose to make courage one of our core values. We need to be bold to chart a new course when it comes to education. 
to change our programs to ensure they are relevant, responsive, and anticipate how the world is evolving, to change how we operate, to give our students more choice and flexibility. We believe everyone at Humber should feel empowered to make bold choices, tackle inequity, and try new things. And we want the same thing for our graduates. We want you to leave Humber with the courage to act, to take risks, and to fail. And if you fail, to have the courage to get up, learn from what you did, and try again. Right now, there's a special on Netflix by University of Houston research professor Brene Brown called The Call to Courage. And yes, I'm almost hip enough to know what's trending on Netflix. <laughs> According to Brown, courage requires two things, vulnerability and involvement. Vulnerability, she says, is not about winning and losing. It's having the courage to show up when you can't control the outcome. It's having the courage to admit you don't have all the answers. It's pushing yourself outside of your comfort zone because that's where you'll learn the most. It's the courage to let yourself change and grow. Courage is needed now more than ever, and you have the skills and knowledge to lead the way. We live in uncertain times. Across the globe, we are all grappling with political tensions, climate crisis, and changing economies. I encourage you to get involved and be the change you want to see in the world. Remember that global network of Humber alumni I mentioned? Let me give you an example of someone who did just that. Raul Singh graduated from Humber's paramedic program in 1993. Soon after, he was backpacking in Nepal when a series of landslides wiped out a village. He ran a disaster response team to help manage the crisis, but found that most of the funding got lost in administration before getting to the people who needed it. He changed that by founding Global Medic, an organization that provides efficient and cost-effective disaster relief. Global Medic has led more than 50 missions in more than 30 countries. Since they started, their efforts have helped countless people around the world survive life-threatening situations following catastrophes. In 2009, Raul was named one of Canada's top 40 under 40. And in 2010, he was included on Time Magazine's list of the 100 most influential people in the world. All of that because he had the courage to be the change he knew would benefit others. So no pressure, but the world is counting on you. And I know you're up for the challenge. As you move on, remember to think critically, to question and challenge what some accept at face value, and seek ways to contribute, give back, and get involved. You leave here with a strengthened ability to make sense of the world, to make the right choices to engage, and to make a difference for yourself and others, even when it isn't easy. As a Humber student, you've been part of one of Canada's most diverse and inclusive institutions. So embrace diversity in all its forms. From race, religion, place of origin, culture, sexuality, gender identity, age, to economic status and more, it's up to each of us to acknowledge and seek to understand these differences and find ways to build bridges, establish common ground, and be allies. You are now one of the more than 250,000 alumni who are the college's reputation in action. I encourage you to continue in their footsteps by making your mark on the world, doing your community proud, and of course, keeping in touch with us. We'll keep an eye on your Instagram stories. <laughs> Everyone here is proud of all you've achieved. You are now and forever part of the Humber family. And like all families, our doors are always open and you're always welcome home. So be bold, be brave, be amazing, because we know you can. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, President Whitaker. We have three achievement awards to present tonight. The first award is the President's Medal, which will be presented by President Whitaker. The President's Medal is given to one graduate in each school 
who has made a significant contribution to their school and to Humber by demonstrating leadership and participation in both the academic and student life of the college while maintaining a strong overall academic average. The School of Creative and Performing Arts is pleased to honor Lauren Mortimer with this year's President's Medal. Persistence, strong work ethic, determination, resilience, and of course, creative talent are all but a few of the characteristics needed to make up the top traits of a successful television writer and producer. Lauren is a shining example of such a writer. This year, she was a model student who gave of herself not only to her work, but also to those around her. Like all writers, she used her self-doubt to push her and her work further. She was head writer for Concerned Artists, an original student production. Lauren inspired other students with her creative ideas and insights and her ability to be one of the best team players, helping to make each student's creative piece better. All faculty unanimously agreed that her enthusiasm and conscientiousness unquestionably helped raise the bar for this year's graduating class. It is with great pleasure that the School of Creative and Performing Arts presents the 2019 President's Medal to Lauren Mortimer. Our next two awards are the Board of Governors Achievement Award, which will be presented by Tom Barlow. This award is given to one graduate in each school who has achieved their academic goals while participating in a significant number of college, community, or personal commitments. The School of Social and Community Services is pleased to award Aaron Lee with this year's Board of Governors Award. Erin is the definition of resilience. She came to the Bachelor of Child and Youth Care program in 2012 as a mature student who had experienced youth homelessness. After completing part of the program, she took a leave to prioritize her health and her role as a mother. She completed her degree in the top 2% of her class while raising her daughter and dealing with significant health issues as well as uncertain living conditions. Erin took the many challenges she had and used them to fuel her child and youth care practice. She worked with the Streets to Homes program this past summer, where she ran monthly meetings using a harm reduction approach and did outreach on the streets of Toronto. We know she has worked hard and fought the worst of circumstances to achieve this milestone, and she continues to fight so others do not share the same experiences. We are truly in awe of her resilient spirit. It is with great pleasure that the School of Social and Community Services presents the 2019 Board of Governors Award to Erin Lee. The School of Creative and Performing Arts is pleased to honor Sung Woo Han with this year's Board of Governors Award. <laughs> Sung Woo started at Humber in the three-year music diploma program and then transitioned to the Bachelor of Music degree program. He was already a fine guitarist when he entered the program and he has progressed to being an excellent professional level musician. As well as being a very strong student and musician, Sung Woo has been an incredible resource in and our community. He has shown a remarkable degree of compassion and empathy for his fellow students, particularly to those who are new to Canada. His extracurricular work in the music department has been exemplary, and he is very well thought of by everyone in the faculty. It is with great pleasure that the School of Creative and Performing Arts presents the 2019 Board of Governors Award to Sung Woo Han.
We have now reached the moment that all the graduates have been waiting for, the awarding of their credentials. Would the graduating class please stand as you are able. Graduates, today you are admitted into the proud fellowship of the graduates of Humber Institute of Technology and Advanced Learning, an honor bestowed only upon those who have met the long-established standards of conduct and learning. In the name of Humber College, I hereby charge you to safeguard the professional dignity and ethics of this fellowship, to cultivate the spirit of inquiry and experiment, to maintain the fresh viewpoint demanded in an age of rapid change and technological advancement, to contribute generously to society and the community around you. President Whitaker, Mr. Barlow, may I present to you the graduates of the School of Creative and Performing Arts and the School of Social and Community Services. We also ask that you acknowledge those unable to attend today's ceremony who are graduating in absentia. I certify that each graduate has met all of the academic requirements for the credential they are about to receive, and we ask for your approval on behalf of Humbert's Board of Governors. Thank you. We now ask the first row of graduates to proceed to the stage to receive their credential. The remaining graduates can now be seated. To ensure that everyone is able to enjoy the ceremony and hear the names of the graduates as they are called, we ask that you hold your applause until the list of names for each program has been completed and to remain seated throughout the ceremony. We will also be announcing the Academic Achievement Award for the top student in each program please turn to page 30 in your convocation program for the first group of graduates. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rinalda, and I'm pleased to introduce the graduates. <clears throat> Border and Immigration Services Program, Michael De Leon. Akwasi Apia. Renata Granum. Anna Carolina Lopez. Sergio Rodriguez. Anna Maria Sanchez. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Border and Immigration Services Program. The next group of graduates is from Developmental Services Worker Apprenticeship Program, Sean Koch. Comfort Isalana. Suzanne Mukine. Minawati Persad. Hyacinth Stevenson. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Developmental Services Worker Apprenticeship Program. We have one graduate from Municipal Bylaw Program. Please 
Matthew Diversia. The next group of graduates is from Pre-Service Firefighter Education and Training Program. Colin Fallis. Go Colin! Zoran Furlin. Jake McKenzie. Let's go, Jake. Jonathan McEachran. Timothy Rebello. Roderick Samuels. Abner Steele Landa, Woo! Academic Award of Excellence recipient. <laughs> Joseph Tran, Suling Tran, Vladimir Desovich. Ryan Wang Leung. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Pre-Service Firefighter Education and Training Program. The next group of graduates is from Developmental Services Worker Program. Rolando Aguilano Jr. Itiola Akinbote. Jaden Avero. Michaela Bellamy. Doris Burkle. Natasha Daly. Victoria Dow. <laughs> Emmanuel Dua. Nebiyet Imam. Sabina Gawali. Development Service Workers Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Vanessa Michelle Hinn. Woo! Sarah Lale. Woo! Ashley Lewis. Woo! Michaela Logan. Ellen McLeod. Lakia Maxwell. Goodness Okoroma. Olivia Oswin. Vanessa Paminter. Lauren Pico. Cassidy Priestap. Jamie Roberts. Emily Rush. Megan Cyril. Michelle Thompson. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Developmental Service Workers Program.
The next group of graduates is from Social Service Worker Program. Kaloran Bailey. Gauri Bagwan. Isabel Blabla. Sarah Blumenthal. Graham Bonner. Janine Campbell. Anissa Canton. Kylie Carr. Serena Castro. Marina Cantina. Paul Charbonneau. Narissa Charles. Yunjin Cho. Tania Christos. Jessica Cordario. Haley Crotty. Kiara Wharton. Shay De Silva Smith. Shamania Deer. Zoya Dalla. Anne Marie Dixon. Tanisha Downs. Olga El Kazandar. Katrin Escobar. Woo! Yuvarani Eswarthan. Rhoda Felisco. Robin Fetter. Rahel Fiese. Lacey Fogden. Jessica Fonte. Davida Fullerton. Don Giraud. Dannon Hennessy. Yunbi Hong. Tonya Hao. Alima Irankunda. Carrie Ann Jackson. Katra Jama. Danielle Jones. Yeah, 
Emily Kerr. Andrea Knight. Najeda Conan. Ludmila Koverko. Chanel Lawrence. Alvin Hoy. Melody Morgan <laughs> Natasha Morrow Godzik <laughs> Daniela Morris Kathleen Richmaker John Nayan Handa Jesse Obrey Sarah Odioko Erica Osborne. Andrea Parr. Emma Myers Antone. Megan Picon. Rachel Rainsford. Miranda Root. Michael Rose. Janice Rounding. Thayesha Skinner. <laughs> Kayla Tabor. Masensi Taylor. Mackenzie. Mackenzie Taylor. Sydney Thring. Kelna Thurbeck. Yeah, Kalina. <laughs> Carrie Lee Venderberg. Monique Virgilian. Megan Vutur James Wilson Amy Yu Lauren Young Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Social Service Workers Program The next group of graduates is from Child and Youth Care Program. Duchka Ahang. Jessica Ainsley. Joyce Awoku. Connor Babin. (laughs) 
Abigail Boachi. Aaron Buchanan. Alana Carcone. Narveen Chahal. Chantel Cordirio. Jade Cromwell. Tatiana Cruz Vasquez. Kimberly Curtis. Kemroy Daly. Dominic Daly. Matthew De Leon. Rose Diaz. Osin Ekobor. Angelique Ewart. Parmavir Gill. Shanique Gooding Dixon. George Gurajena. Madison Halligan. Shania Hashi. Eric Hayes. Lisa Klassen. Jessica Ladani. Jamie Leblanc. Kelsey LaRue. Oksana Lewis. Alka Lee. Winter Grace McFarlane. Renique McLeod. Stephen Olio Yi. Tamitope Oludupi. Philippa Ose Dulfi. Melissa Parente. Academic Award of Excellence, Mary Parsons. Jessica Perks. Lauren Pitchforth. Shivani Raheya. Nicole Richard. Tamara Rodney Braithwaite. Bakarvi Sathiyasilin. Samantha Sylvia Gonzalez.
Jordan Simpson. Alyssa Smith. Matthew Stedman. James Stevenson. Michelle Tembo. Laura Thomas. Tiana Urechko. Academic Award of Excellence, Anna Vasina. Laura Wilson. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Child and Youth Care Program. Please join me in congratulating Shana Menard, Child and Youth Worker Advanced Diploma. The next group of graduates is from Addictions and Mental Health Program. Afua Frimpong. Christina Kobos. Emily Lukes. Ragavni Mengala Runban. Zainab Mandra. Olivia Pittman. Jonathan Riccio. Haley Simpson Miles. Harush Zandeli. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Addictions and Mental Health Program. There's only one graduate from Behavioral Science Graduate Certificate, Catherine Agho. The next group of graduates is from Bachelor of Child and Youth Care Program. Sharon Narako. Danielle Alameda. Hira Asif. Vanessa Barner Arensiba. Amber Benjamins. Lakeisha Bennett. Jillian Camanzola. Brandon Chai. Selena Costa. Katie Dooling. Selena Diogiovanni. Leah Dizon. Jenna Durant. Catherine Elliott. Ifra Eo. Kayana Foster Jackson. Sarah Hassan. 
Janelle Lynn Howes. Jada Hutchison Dion. Malika Jamila. Ravneet Kuruthia. Kadidra Lambert. Aaron Leah. Linnea Lamry. Jennifer Mai. Alexis McBean. Kirsten Miller. Zanubia Mohammed Hossein. Nicole Neville. Bethany Newman. Nicole Pachulski. Amanda Zanugia. Jessica Price. Academic Award of Excellence, Emily Quinn. Dion Quinton. Adrian Raffington. Manmeet Radhawa. Nicole Renault. Christian Rios. Colleen Saunders. Vera Sasharina. Marissa Taylor. Crystal Valencia. <laughs> Kathleen Valesco. Amanda Walter. Shireen White. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Bachelor of Child and Youth Care program. We will now introduce the graduates from the School of Creative and Performing Arts. The first group of graduates is from Jazz Performance Introduction to Commercial Jazz Program, Melissa Adams. Wendy Utenshon. Luis Pinto. Xin Chung Zhen. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Jazz Performance Introduction to Commercial Jazz Program. The next group of graduates is from Acting for Film and Television Program, Aaron Dickey. Paige Evans. Ty Howley. Andrea Holstein. 
Liam Marshall. Molly McCaskill. Academic Award of Excellence, Quincy Mutter. Caitlin Nellist. Laura Sigger. Elizabeth Villa. Farrell Zarini. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Acting for Film and Television program. The next group of graduates is from Comedy Writing and Performance program. Cyrus Chase. Yeah. Rebecca Dent. Benjamin Henderson. Gary Lampkin. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Comedy Writing Performance Program. The next group of graduates are from Theater Arts Technical Production Program. Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Eden Anderson. Lydia Foote. Luca Gianetta. Tegan Keith. Lindsay Miller. Avril Padilla. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Theatre Arts Technical Productions Program. The next group of graduates is from Theatre Arts Performance Program. Matthew Atwell. Jordan Burns. Austin Costello. Daniela Donaire. <laughs> Bethlehem Frede. <laughs> Alexandra Flengas. <laughs> Kiera Ford. Academic Award of Excellence, Celia Green. <laughs> Whitney Ampadu. <laughs> Elijah Mercaccio. <laughs> Shayna Robinson. Julia Scarringi. Catherine Simmons. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Theater Arts Performance Program. One graduate from Arts Administration Cultural Management, Tija Frimuta. The next group of graduates is from, is from the Music Business Program. Kathleen Bull. Marissa Cho. Alicia Cooper.
Marissa Dubrovsky. Caitlin Clotes. Courtney Kotulak. Ruth Larby. Kendry Mackin Razowski. Lauren Manley. Jillian McCormick. Jennifer McKittrick. Kimberly Sahai. Kohulan Surendran. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Ms. Music Business Program. The next group of graduates is from Television Writing and Producing Program, Josephine Ataborhu. Marushka Alameda. Ravlene Bali. Jane Churchill Smith. Justin Dimitruk. Jane Elliott. Sophia Gwen Robson. Kirsten Hillslop. Betty Johnson. Chelsea Lette. Stephen Lubin. James Mahoney. Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Lauren Mortier. Jaswandi Nande. Tohid Sheikh. Harman Singh. Vignesh Sevarman. Sam Steadfacer. Hugo Essen. Angelica Varela. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from Television Writing and Producing Program. The next group of graduates is from Bachelor of Music Program. Academic Award of Excellence recipient, Taylor Adams. Victor Agrippa. Shalisa Akbar. Olivia Amenta. Matthew Bawatenheimer. Jesse Bauer. Harold Camacho. Sharisa Chakraboti.
Genevieve Chu. Agnia Chitiki. Logan Coey. Hayden Crocker. Sierra Cumming. Matthew Das. Andrew Doudcheck. Sebastian Demiansuk. Rafael Deslitas. Samuel Fitzpatrick. Nathan Frimpong. Daniel Goldstein. Stephen Griffiths. Alex Gwindon. Sung Woo Han. Zane Howley. Viet Ho. Caius Howlett. Jeremy Hutzel. Oscar Kempe. Dennis Quoke. Jonathan Lau. Carly Lerner. Marco Luciano. Terrell Malcolm. Michelle McCormick. Melody McCullough Westall. Jelana Nickel. Jessica Pacheo. Monica Paez. Emily Persich. Andrew Ranieri. Gabriella Rogers. Robert Shaw. Kieran Smith. Jake St. Jean. Daniel Seduto. Marco Stajanovic. Spencer Swanson. Jordan Taylor. Ryan Joseph Botero. Woo! 
Eva Weiss. Jacob Watutzig. Dean Slatter. Please join me in congratulating the graduates from the Bachelor of Music program. This concludes the awarding of the credentials. I would like to thank each of the graduates, guests, faculty, and all of the staff and volunteers for making this convocation ceremony possible. We invite all guests to join us for a reception in Alumni Hall immediately after the ceremony. Following the singing of O Canada, please remain standing as you are able while the platform party and the graduates exit.
I told you you can always count on me. 